This is French club Economist Gallery, where the exhibition Landscape in the Mist takes place. This interactive digital photographic installation is a program in the French May, French art festival in Hong Kong. This is a first of its kind of innovative viewing experience using LCD and plasma screen as a digital canvas. I am Julian Lee. This is my exhibition, Landscape in the Mist. Let me show you some of my interactive digital painting. The title of this exhibition is borrowed from a Theo Angelo Polo's film, Landscape in the Mist. These four works reflect my sentiments concerning a barren Nordic landscape that lies at the root of 19th century Romanticist painting. I'm deeply affected by the Caspar David Frederick painting, Sea of Fog, as if I were the young gentleman on the mountain top, looking down through the sea of clouds, full of awe. I want you to experience the same feeling in front of my digital canvases. As you get closer to the image, the landscape will unfold in front of you. Such interactivity recreates a subjective yearning towards a lost time and place, and it creates a new photographic aesthetic using the digital palette. He is Reiner Stringer, a rock formation off the southern coast of Iceland at the birthplace of Icelandic history and myth. I locate these rocks in the rough sea to recreate the myth in Agno Bokland's painting, Island of Death. The silent films of Mano and the Expressionist movement influenced my decision to paint it in black, which gives my image a gothic aura. This is my favorite digital painting. It is called Landscape in the Mist. As you approach the painting, the image, the landscape will melt in front of you. Alan Riney's film Last Year in Marenbad inspired me to shoot this misty landscape on a hill near the Legend de Honor in San Francisco. The labyrinth in the movie creates a deep sense of loss, and I have intuited that this photo is part of the cinematic landscape. The canvas will dissolve as you approach it, suggesting the fertility of trying to preserve the past in our dreams and memories. I travelled to Iceland to shoot this beautiful ice lake. When I was floating on the boat, I feel a timelessness and a remote sense of being. The shore and water are distilled to a deeply mesmerising grey. The floating ice and ripples project a distant state of being on a particular day embedded in our past. For me, for no particular reason, the image takes me back to a painting by George Chinnery around the year 1860, where Hong Kong became a colony. This digital painting is called Love Forlorn Lighthouse. I found this lovely red lighthouse on the frozen shore at the northern tip of Hokkaido, Japan, a port called Wakanai facing Shetland in Russian Siberia. My heart was frozen on this exile trip out of a broken love, but this lighthouse rekindled a memory of this profoundly intimate relationship that happened on the coast of Breton years ago, which is lined with lighthouses illuminating a savage surf. A soothing sense of well-being comes to my heart and maybe yours when you discover that the little red lighthouse glows as you approach, rekindling the illusion that you are still in love. <laughs>